Welcome to Science Tree Channel and from now we will start most important short questions from Smart Slavers. And this is chapter number 1, class 9th, Fundamentals of Chemistry. Short questions are very important from exam point of view because by writing shortly you can get wonderful marks. But always remember, there are some tips and tricks while attempting the short question. Number 1. Always write to the point. Secondly, always write the keywords in bold letters. Means you can highlight the name of the scientist, dates or anything which you feel that it's important to tell to the examiner. Thirdly, if examiner is asking about more than one thing, give the answer in points because it's very easy to understand points than as compared to the paragraph. Now these are the questions which mostly used to come in exams and by learning and understanding these questions you can easily cover your chapter number one. So let's start. Question number one. How does homogeneous mixture differ from heterogeneous mixture? So now the word homo means same and genius means composition. So mixture that have uniform composition throughout are called homogeneous mixtures and never forget to quote the examples. So here are air, gasoline and ice cream. While the next thing is those mixtures in which composition are not uniform throughout are called heterogeneous mixtures and examples are soil, rock, and wood. So by this way you can get 2 out of 2. Second question is what is the relative atomic mass and how it is related to gram? The relative atomic mass of the element is the average mass of the atoms of that element as compared to 1 by 12th the mass of an atom of carbon 12. Now the second thing is how it is related to grams. So I will not write the answer in the same paragraph. I will write it separately so that it can be highlighted. When the atomic mass unit is expressed in grams it is 1 amu 1.66 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 24 grams. Now here I want to little tell you about relative atomic mass. Relativity means to compare, to compare with something. Why we used to take relative atomic mass? We used to take because size of an atom is very small and it's very difficult to measure its size. For that we used to take average of the mass of atoms of that element. And we used to compare it with carbon 12. We are taking carbon 12 as a standard so that we can easily understand the mass just by comparing. Question number 3. Define empirical formula with example. Now here example is very important to get full marks. It is the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms present in a compound. Like here is an example of glucose and benzene. The formula for glucose is C6, H12 and O6. And if I simplify it, it will convert into CH2O. As we know that in simplifying ratio, 6 will gonna cut with 6. And 6 twos are 12. So it is the simplest ratio. 
again for the benzene it will be ch question number 4 state three reasons why do you think air is a mixture and water is a compound now for air it has no chemical formula secondly it is formed by the simple mixing of chemical substances thirdly it does not have sharp and fixed melting points and fourthly it's an heterogeneous mixture while if i talk about water it has a wonderful chemical formula h2o two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen joins together to give water in a fixed ratio by mass so it's a compound secondly chemical combinations of atoms of an element are taking place in water and thirdly water has a sharp and fixed melting point water is a homogeneous mixture it's same from all sides now the question number 5 is explain why are hydrogen and oxygen considered elements whereas water as a compound so for that hydrogen and oxygen are elements because they have same type of atoms having same atomic number and it cannot be decomposed into simple substances by chemical means but if i talk about water water is considered as a compound because it is formed by the fixed ratio of elements by their mass so it is a substance made up of two or more elements chemically combined together in a fixed ratio by mass as we know that water is made up of two hydrogens and one oxygen so it's a fixed ratio so that's why water is a compound and hydrogen and oxygen are elements like this is simple hydrogen atom for better understanding this is water having hydrogen and oxygen atoms now question number 6 why soft drink is a mixture and water is a compound so now if i talk about mixtures in soft drinks its component can be separated by physical means it has no chemical formula and for soft drinks it is made up of simple mixing of substances if i talk about water its components cannot be separated by physical means it has a chemical formula and water is formed by chemical combination of atoms of elements classify the following into element compound and mixture number 1 is hydrogen molecule and helium now in case of this helium is an element why because helium is made up of same type of atoms having same atomic number while h2 is a molecule because it is made up of two atoms next is carbon dioxide and carbon now carbon is an element because it has same atomic number having same number of atoms while carbon dioxide is a compound because it cannot be made without having one carbon and two oxygen atoms so i can say that fixed ratio by mass means it's a compound fixed ratio of carbon and oxygen showing that it's a compound water and milk water is a compound having fixed ratio of hydrogen and oxygen two hydrogens and one oxygen while milk is a mixture as it is no chemical formula gold and brass gold is an element having same atomic number and brass is a mixture made up of two metals iron and steel iron is an element while steel is a mixture 
Now the question is define atomic mass unit and why it is needed. The unit of relative atomic mass is called atomic mass unit. Its symbol is AMU. Now why it is needed? Because atom is too small to measure its size directly and it also have isotopes. So to measure all that we use atomic mass unit. Thank you so much. For more videos, keep watching. In my next videos, I will discuss most important numericals from exam point of view. Have a great day.